been harassed and subsequently arrested by the state. It bothers me that a Kikuyu leader is using state machinery to criminalize the same people who supported him during the 2022 general election. By enabling our innocent youth as members of Mongeki, Mr. Rigadi is not only setting up against the notorious police brutality, but he's also setting up the entire community to extinction. When did the jobless, the hopeless, and the dis disgruntled hustlers became Mongeki? Let the regime of the day stop and desist from criminalizing innocent Kikuyu youth and then back on addressing the underlying problems of the sky rocking cost of living. The arrested youth are just victims of circumstances. They are victim, victims of an unfulfilled and broken promises by the KK administration. They are hustlers who have been entangled by the highest high cost of living. Reduced, reduce the cost of living. Stop criminalizing Kikuyu youth. Do the honorable thing to reduce the cost of living. On the alleged meeting that was alleged to, to, to take place at Nyeri Kabiroini Stadium, we categorically state that there was no such a meeting that had been called or scheduled to take place, as no notice had been issued to the effect either to the members of the public or to the police. The innocent youth who have been arrested are just going about their usual businesses in preparation for their new year celebration. We urge the police or those who have arrested the innocent youth to release them immediately. We also remind the state that every Kenyan as a guaranteed freedom of association and the reenable uh, rights to the liberty, and that must be respected at all times. And if the government of the day has suspected this right, has suspended these rights and the fundamental freedoms, the citizen should be informed. Finally, if the arrested youth will not be released on bail, on bail, bound by the police pending their alignment in court, we urge the state to observe the 